Do you serve the God King Scum? You serve the great Almira. The sallow man will want to speak with you. Take this. He hands you a mirror of the blackest glass, and in a moment, you know what he wants. Alexander's head, cut from his body and brought to the sallow man in his cave. You stop. Explain yourself. You may proceed. You find no threat here. Not from me, at least. Death Fog on the Elves. I am at the ready. Your words mean nothing to me, Alexander. God woken. Have you come to witness the death of the noble coward? How fortunate. You can tell the tale of Lucian's other wayward son. I've forgotten nothing. Alexander, you are the sinner, yet the gods have allowed us to suffer for it. I would kill you a hundred times over if given the chance. This is your end, Alexander. I strike in the name of your father. The sallow man's bloodless countenance appears within the glass. Wordlessly, pitilessly, hungrily, he asks you for Alexander's head. A vision of a cave entrance appears, and two, the huge troll guarding it. You must bring the head of Alexander there and present it to the altar. You mark your map, and the mirror goes dark once more. The troll leans in and glares at you with beady little eyes. His breath is like a butcher's offal bucket, left in the sun too long. No cave for you. The troll looks over you thoughtfully while one of his fingers rummages around his nostril. Cave for you. An empty cave with a bare altar. The altar before you seems relatively bare. There is no inscription to a god and no offering placed. All you can see is a smear of blood on its surface and a hollow that seems to call for something. You feel a sense of relief wash over you, of hunger satiated. For now, as you watch, the rock wall behind the altar starts to bleed, to dissolve, to evaporate into nothing. 
After a few moments, it is gone entirely. You behold a face you've seen before, in blackened glass, soul sickness incarnate, the rotten flesh of the world's most shameful desires, an all-knowing affliction. This is the God King's pallid envoy walking the world as the sallow man. You feel him in your head, scrabbling for purchase amongst your thoughts, looking for a way in, his madness and his anger and his hate banging on the door of your mind, looking for Almira. Sallow points a long-nailed finger at Alexander's dead eye. Sickly waves of emotion wash from him. You feel like you've eaten a rock, but you think you recognize the feeling. It's love, or at least a form of love. Sallow thrusts his nail forward and skewers Alexander through the eye socket. He raises Alexander's head and looks him in the one remaining eye. Then, slowly and deliberately, Sallow begins to eat. An acid joy assaults your senses as the sallow man devours the memories of the bishop divine, the son of Lucian, the god-woken, who shall never be divine. And you realize that sallow is not a man, but the twisted remains of what was once an elf. A sick glee emanates from the sallow mind, and in an instant you know what is on offer. A new you, an improvement on the old, on the tip of his finger, ready to be granted. You need only say the word. He grins and holds his hand towards you. You feel yourself change. You feel a new self rising. 